The Scorpion ground attack aircraft was created by Textron Airland as an independent initiative. It came about through a collaboration between Textron and Airland Enterprises. The development process began in 2012, with Cessna, a subsidiary of Textron, constructing the prototype. In 2013, the Scorpion completed its inaugural flight. The aircraft was specifically designed to address potential requirements from the U.S. National Guard and international buyers. Characterized by affordability in both acquisition and operation, this light attack aircraft presents an economical option for smaller foreign military forces. Many countries have a need for tactical aircraft but lack the resources for high-end models. The Scorpion effectively bridges the gap between light turboprop planes and costly jet-powered land attack aircraft. Should a buyer be secured, production of the Scorpion might commence as early as 2015, with deliveries achievable within 15 to 18 months after the production order is confirmed. The Scorpion fulfills a range of roles including light attack, reconnaissance, domestic interdiction, air patrol, and training. Its capabilities are geared toward low-threat battlefield missions. Nonetheless, it surpasses turboprop aircraft in terms of range, endurance, and sensor technology. The aircraft is touted as being sufficiently rugged to withstand minor damage. What sets the Scorpion apart from most ground attack aircraft is its utilization of commercially available off-the-shelf components from the business jet sector, primarily sourced from Cessna's inventory. The demonstrator model of the Scorpion employs Honeywell TFE-731 turbofans, commonly found in commercial business jets. These engines are both cost-effective and easier to maintain than purpose-built military engines. While subsequent versions of the Scorpion might incorporate different engine options, test pilots have reported the aircraft to be agile, nimble, and powerful even when operating with only one engine. The absence of fly-by-wire technology simplifies the design and helps control expenses. Developers assert that the cost of operating the Scorpion per flight hour is a mere $3,000, a figure that Western purpose-built turbojet attack aircraft cannot approach. For instance, the F-16 costs $25,000 per flight hour. The aircraft includes a retractable nose mount for electro-optical and infrared sensors, which can be stowed away when not in use to reduce drag. An internal weapon bay is another feature, offering the flexibility to reconfigure it for sensor usage in reconnaissance roles or to carry additional fuel. Depending on the mission's demands, the internal bay can be set up to accommodate a mix of weapons, sensors, and fuel. The aircraft boasts six external hardpoints for a variety of armaments such as gun pods, missiles, rockets, and bombs. It is also capable of carrying precision-guided munitions guided by laser or GPS. The internal payload capacity of the aircraft is 1,360 kg, with an additional 1,400 kg of external ordnance capacity. The Scorpion is designed for two seats, although it can be operated by a single pilot. The projected unit cost for the Scorpion is expected to be under $20 million, a sum lower than the cost of upgrading the A-10 or F-16.